hope my camera stays up there. This phone holder that I've been using for the last year is the screws are starting to be stripped out in it a little bit. So it's not wanting to hold. But anyway, good morning everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today is a road trip. As you can tell, I'm in my car. But it is also a day part of my dental journey. I have a dental appointment today. And that's where I'm heading. I'm hoping that this appointment today will be the last one that I have to have for a while. And that from here on out it will just be going in and checking up every six months. I have a lot of questions and concerns for the dentist. I think the main purpose of my appointment today is to do a realignment on this upper plate because it's so loose now that it's slipping really bad. You can probably tell that by the way I'm talking. My immediate plans were to go to the dentist with my dentures in and not have any glue. But I put that top one in today without any glue. It kept falling down. It was gagging me because it wasn't staying up in there. Um, they're supposed to do in a realignment. I have a temporary realigning in there right now that they did on my last appointment. And uh, I think, if I remember correctly, he told me when I come back today, they're going to be doing the permanent, the permanent realignment. I sure hope it helps. Um, right now, I'm just having all kinds of issues with them. I like the way they look for the most part. I like the way they look. The top ones... I'm not happy with the straightness, how straight they are. I feel like they need to be a little bit rounded. Maybe that's something they can do when I get my permanents. And as far as eating, last time I was there I asked her what foods I should eat, what ones I should stay away from. She told me I could eat anything I want, but that's not true. There's certain foods I put in my mouth and I'm not able to eat them at all. I simply can't chew them. I can put something in my mouth that has any kind of uh, substance to it at all and chew and chew and chew and chew and chew and it's not breaking up. It's just like I'm massaging it with my teeth. It's not breaking into little pieces. Then when I swallow it, I choke. I'm choking on it. I'm losing weight because the only things I'm, <coughs> I'm pretty much able to eat are applesauce, pudding, ice cream, jello, macaroni, stuff like that uh, and I can't live on that so I can't I can't live on that for the rest of my life I mean yeah I could I could I certainly could live on that for the rest of my life so but yeah I've lost weight which is fine I'm okay with losing weight I needed to lose weight but not like this not by starving myself to death by not being able to eat food that I want to eat. I can't eat anything that I have to bite into and tear. I have to cut it with a knife and fork into tiny little pieces and try to chew it. I can't eat a sandwich because it's bread. I can't tear into the bread. And I ought to be able to eat a sandwich. Bread is not that tough, but when I bite into bread, I can't tear it. Can't eat hamburgers, can't eat burritos, 
definitely can't eat a steak if I wanted a steak. I just, uh, I'm scared to bite of this part here and try to tear anything. Um, I just don't feel like they're doing what they were supposed to do. As far as being able to have teeth, and I've seen people say, you know, I've got my dentures and I can eat anything I want, even apples. <laughs> there ain't no way I could bite into an apple and chew it up. When I bite things, it hurts. When I bite down on stuff in certain ways, it hurts. I've noticed that I'm mostly chewing on the right side of my mouth. Because when I'm chewing on the left side, it hurts. And the paper that they gave me the last time said that I need to try to chew evenly on both sides of my mouth. Well, it hurts when I try to chew on my left side. So I'm going to tell them about all that today. <coughs> I've got a little bit of a cough. <coughs> I'm nervous. Um... As far as I know, there's not going to be any pain involved today. I don't think I'm going to get any shots. There's definitely not any teeth to be removed. But now I'm kind of rethinking the whole thing about this bottom plate. The bottom plate is good. Well, I take that back, kind of. It's sort of good. Once I snap it in, it stays. Because it's got them little metal hooks on it that snap onto the teeth that are left in there and that holds that in place now i've heard other people that have dentures say they have more trouble with their bottom than they do their top because their bottom wants to float up you know it won't stay down i'm not having any problems with that except from the back um where he grind those teeth down and they're flat as a pancake there's no uh, sharp edges are nothing to be chewing with because he grinded them all down because they weren't fitting right. I'm hoping that when I get my perms they got more substance to them. You know the bottom ones as far as that are okay. I'm not having any issues with that part. But I, I'm just I'm not able to chew anything and it's not making me very happy. I gotta go down here to park. Oh, I'm, I'm not too much early. My appointment's at 10:45, and it's 10:39, so I'm not that early. I'm gonna sit here and wait for a little bit before I go in. But yeah, I do have questions and concerns that I'm gonna tell him about. I'm hoping that he tells me. Well, these are just temporary. When you get your perms made. Your bottom teeth will have some chewing because by then my gums will be receded enough that the bottom plates can have more area. You know, they could be bigger and they'll have more chewing, chewing surface is what I'm basically saying. <clears throat> because with what I got now, it just ain't happening. <clears throat> and I did, like I said, I wanted to bring these in there today and not put any glue in them. Because I know he's going to take the, the upper plate out of my mouth so that he can do that realignment on it. And uh, I wanted it to be clean. But y'all, I couldn't do it. When I put it in, it kept falling down. It kept falling down. It was gagging me. It was making me want to puke. So I ended up taking it out and putting a little bit of glue on it. And I didn't want to have to do that. I didn't want to have to put any glue on it. I got my uh, <clears throat> got my money. I make a payment today. <sighs> and I'm gonna get a. I'm, I'm gonna try to get another uh, printout of everything they've done so far, so that I can see of what what they've got as far as what I owe matches up with what I've got at the house. Because I get a statement from them every month in the mail on the months that I don't come in. 
And like I say, I'm thinking that after today, I probably won't have to come back, but like once every six months. So I want to kind of compare my statement to what they've got. So I'm going to go ahead and go in now, and uh, I'll let you know what happens when I come back out with the whole thing. So I'll see you all in a little bit. I'm out from the dentist appointment. And I wanted to kind of update y'all on what happened in there. <sighs> a lot of activity going on in my mouth. That's for sure. Uh, they did a hard line on the, the top. Um, they took both plates out. The bottom and the lower. And then they, they put some kind of gunky, sticky stuff in the top. Stuck it in my mouth, uh, told me to bite down tightly, leave it in there for five minutes, let it harden. Took that out, did something else to it, put some more sticky stuff in it, stuck it back in my mouth again, told me to bite down tight. When the doctor was pulling on my lips, pulling them, stretching them, massaging them, or doing whatever like this. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to do. And they took that out. And uh, he asked me how the bottom's fitting. The bottom's fitting good. And I like it. Except I don't like the fact that in the back hair, he's filed off the chewing surface and it's completely flat. The back teeth here and here, the back three, three they're flat. And I don't like how... See how flat that is? See how round? I feel like these need to be round like that. So flat. Anyway, he said they could go ahead and make my permanent uh, on the bottom because my gums had healed enough. Didn't mention anything about the top. I don't know if this is a permanent or not. But... Uh, he said they would do, they could do that. So they took my bottom plate out and they took one of those trays that they put the gunky stuff in and stuck it in there, had me bite down and hold it for a little while. Then they took that out and then they put some more stuff in it and had me bite down even harder and it sunk down even deeper. Close my mouth real tight, hold that in. Hold that in for about three, four, five minutes, however long it takes for it to harden. Then they come to take that out. Taking it out hurt. I mean, it was hard and it was stuck in there. She wiggled, the assistant, dental assistant took it out. She wiggled a little bit on this side. Then she wiggled a little bit on this side. Then she wiggled a little bit on this side. Then she wiggled a little bit on that side back and forth, back and forth, and it was hurting. It felt like she was pulling my bones out. Finally, it popped out. Then it come back in with that piece out and my denture out. I told me to close my mouth, which I have three partials here and two over here. So I closed my mouth and he took a thing like a caulking gun and squirted all around on the inside filling in the gap between here and here in the back where around my um, crowns with a caulking gun thing. I let that harden a little bit and then took that out. And then she told me they would contact me to make an appointment when they get the uh, they get a, a temporary mold made of it that I will come back in, try it, see how I look it, the color, see how the shape and everything and if, if there was any problems, they would shape it and fix it right then, you know, to make it look good. And then they would send that back off to the lab again. And then it would come back and it would be my permit. So that's all I know. Anyway, that's what I've got done so far. And right now, with all the in and out on the top and the wiggling down the bottom, my gums are really sore, both on the top, on the bottom. They're hurting pretty bad but I have to go to Walmart now and get my groceries for the week 
and uh, I need to go to the Dollar Tree and pick up some things and then I'm going to the house and going to rest a little bit. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for coming with me on my dental journey. Oh, I asked him too today. I said, no needles today, right? He said, no, nope, no needles today. You probably won't get any more needles from here on out. That's true as long as these teeth that are in there stay. But if they have to go back in and take out these crowns, these five teeth that I've got left, the three on one side and two on the other, there will be more needles. And I have a feeling that's one of the things I was going to tell you about. I've kind of regretted that now. I really wish I would have thought far enough ahead. And when he said I had five teeth down there that I could keep that, I would have just said no. Just pull them all. Get it out. Get it over with. Because I really feel like there's going to come a time when these five on the bottom are going to decay and they're going to have to be pulled. I hope not, but I have a feeling. So anyway, that's all I know. Today's dental journey is over with, and I'm glad. And uh, see y'all in the next video. Y'all come back and see us any old time. Bye for this one.